Well, I'm having a bad day. And when I'm having a bad day, there is nothing I like to do more than just wish I could take a step back in time. So I'm doing that now. And not only uh, because I'm playing Mega Man 6, whereas last time I was playing Mega Man 7, but because we are going all the way back to medieval times. Alright, Nightman. Got a lot of aggression to work out. Can you handle it? This stage is giving me a lot of trouble. That's right, Outtake fans. You're in good hands. Believe it or not, this is actually one of these stages from Mega Man 6 that I practice the most. Not that it's doing me all that much good. For some reason, the main trouble that I'm having is the inability to slide reliably. I honestly don't know what's causing it. It worked there. But once out of about every three attempts, the slide just doesn't work and Mega Man stops dead. That really does throw a wrench into things, as you can imagine. Might be something to do with the emulator. Might just be something to do with the fact that I'm a little uh, preoccupied as I record this. Whatever the case, we're going to have to just deal with it. Few rooms here without any serious troubles, but let's not be lulled into a false sense of complacency. We have these guys to deal with again, and they behave almost exactly like the octopus from Mega Man 9. You have to shoot the body to make the head pop up, and while the head is up, you can inflict your damage. It makes timing this area, well, really important to be precise. Let's see what Eddie has for us. An E-Tank. Looks delicious. Thanks, Eddie. You can actually hear Eddie teleport out of there, which I believe uh, this is the only time in the series that you could do that. Pretty neat. Whoops. Oh, well, you're going to be seeing a lot of him, I guess. Yeah, he's kind of a pain. You want to take him out safely. If you shoot him once, his glasses come off and he becomes enraged. You have to shoot him again to kill him. He's a lot more difficult to deal with when he's enraged, as you can imagine. Oddly, even if you hit him with a charge shot and it does double damage, he still undergoes his transformation after the first shot and you have to hit him again. Here's why we took out Blizzard Man. Uh, last thing I need right now is the one up. Yeah, for some really strange reason, Blizzard Man's really crappy quad snowflake attack is the only thing that can uh, destroy these otherwise invincible spine enemies. Don't ask me, I just work here. Well, being very generous with the weapon energy, thank you. And with that, we're through to Nightman, whose weakness is the Yamato Spear. I'd like to say we're going to exploit that, but really, that's kind of up to Nightman. A lot depends on what he does first in this fight. He can very easily corner you. Okay, but he's behaving. At least a little bit. Oh shit, and we're out of energy because I went hog wild. Please, please cooperate. Oh, I can't believe that I beat him after I went nuts with that Yamato Spear. That was totally undeserved. But you know what? I ain't complaining. Yeah, I had a bit on my mind today, and you'll see from the outtakes that this sage wasn't really willing to go too easy on me. Suffice it to say, I think that was probably the most embarrassing uh, successful run against a robot master, specifically the robot master, yet. And Nightman is down. Took out another robot master from Mega Man 6. Feels pretty good. Not really sure if I can do another one, but it's probably worth trying. Sorry for the lethargic commentary today. But hopefully the outtakes will make up for it. Thanks for watching.
really not too bad a stage. This guy really sucks. Huh. <laughs> See? For some reason, my sliding in Mega Man 6 doesn't seem to work too well. See? I think I've mentioned before that I'm only familiar with Mega Man 6 thanks to the Anniversary Collection. It's something I really played extensively when I was a kid. Ah, uh, alright, how do I get through this? Oh, that, okay. Remember that guy who was no trouble at all? Meet his cousin. He's an asshole. Yeah, this is actually pretty tough. Timing really is everything. Oh! He's kind of like the pop-up pirate game. You can only hit him when his head's sticking out. So you want to shoot him and make him stick his head out. For some reason, the sliding isn't very responsive in this game, see? Fuck. We are through tonight, man, who is weak to the Yamato Sphere. And let's see how he treats me. This could really go either way. I never seem to know what he's going to do at the beginning of the fight. Believe it or not. The most difficult thing about this battle seems to be anticipating what he's going to do first. And I wish it wasn't that. But I'm not going to complain. Anything that takes these guys away is a friend of mine. Come on. Ah, that was close. And with no blizzard energy to spare, we're through to Nightman. Whose weakness is the Yamato Spear? I'd like to assure you that we're going to exploit it, but, well, we'll see. The problem with this battle is anticipating what he's going to do first. Oh, god damn it. It's actually pretty difficult to handle this guy. A lot of it depends on what he does the first thing in the fight, which is pretty tough to anticipate. Fucking slide! Okay, now this is not an outtake. Instead, I would just like to explore the world behind this very conspicuous cracked wall. We couldn't do that in the main video because we didn't have this. This is the rush adapter that turns us into Power Mega Man. You get that from defeating Flame Man. As Power Mega Man, we could just punch a hole in the wall. How manly. How Mega Manly. This actually leads us, it's a very short branching path obviously, but it leads us to the real Nightman. Those of you who haven't played Mega Man 6 may not be familiar with the fact that uh, four Robot Masters are actually encountered um, in real and fake versions, Nightman being one of them. Now when I recorded this video originally, I was not in a very good frame of mind. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing or giving much thought to anything. So I just spammed the Yamato Spear. That wasn't really very stylish. So let's explore this as a bit of an emotional branching path as well, and see how the fight goes when I actually use my brain. It's the real Nightman this time, so I think he deserves my attention. And that's really all there is to it. In fact, he's much easier when you pay attention to what the hell you're doing. Believe it or not. Now, the Nightman that you saw me defeat in the regular video was actually a phony. A big, fat phony. This Nightman gives us not only the Night Crush, but also the Beat A parts. B, E, A, and T are the four types of Beat parts that you get in this game, as you can... you probably could have guessed. And you'll see now that we've defeated Nightman that the A is visible. It shows that we recovered the parts as well. Blizzard Man and Flame Man don't have fake counterparts, so they just get a little happy face. I know they're one-ups, but I prefer not to acknowledge them. Yamato Man is blank, because we only defeated his fake. We did not actually defeat the real Yamato Man. But we'll probably worry about that another day. Anyway, that's that. I just wanted to show it off. Well, what can I say about Nightman? 
I do want to apologize for the tone of the commentary. I was just feeling a little bit blue, and I thought I would do this to sort of cheer myself up. It worked, but, you know, the recording might be a little... <laughs> less than sunny, so I apologize for that. On the brighter side of things, though, I really found myself enjoying this stage. In fact, I think I'm enjoying Mega Man 6 more now than I ever have before. That's something really interesting about this project that I've noticed. Spending so much time on specific stages, specific rooms, and sometimes even just specific enemies, let alone the boss, you really start to appreciate a lot of things that went into the design that you didn't appreciate before. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I'm actually kind of glad that I got to revisit Mega Man 6. As I mentioned before, I wasn't really sure that I would. But enough of that. How many attempts did I think it would take me to get through this stage with no damage? Believe it or not, ten. But how many did it actually... Wait, seriously? Ten? I was exactly right? Wow. Yeah, that's really unexpected. In fact, I didn't actually realize that until I was counting up the outtakes. Very, very strange. Um, but kind of cool. I wasn't sure that I would ever be exactly right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm impressed with myself. That's enough for me. Thank you for watching. I'm really glad I got to do Mega Man 6 again. And tune in next time. We've got another one, not of my favorite Robot Masters, but certainly a stage that was really fun to do. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you continue to enjoy. Thanks for watching.